Hey, I'm back making videos and I would like to start with a game called Urumongi Generation. It was recommended by Hideki Naganuma. It's a pretty nice game and I really like it. It's an indie puzzle game um, centered around photography. It has a pretty interesting gameplay that's, that's really nice and I would like just to go and uh, play it with you. The game has a pretty good soundtrack and it has this cell shading uh, style that's really reminiscent of Jet Set Radio Future but in a more simplistic way. The game is pretty simple, you have a list of objectives that you need to fill to be able to finish the level and you have secondary objectives that you can have to, to do if you want to earn more money. The soundtrack is also really good. The only downside I have with the game is that you can't uh, configure your keyboard. So I have a A30 keyboard and not a QWERTY. So that makes it really hard to play it. <laughs> But we're just gonna go together through the, the first level. So you have your list of objectives on the right, so things you have to take pictures of. Uh, that's kind of a puzzle, the first, first level is pretty easy, but then you have to really work on it if you wanna to go further. So here we have to do two markers, a Union Jack, the word mix, uh, take picture of a camera, Seven Bird, and Mawa and two boombox, and then you have a list of secondary objectives like earn money, recreate the postcard, photo of the four friends, deliver the parcel on time, etc. So you always have this objective when you have to uh, get a number of um, film canisters. So we're just gonna go and do the first level together. So you have different objectives that you can change. So you have a long distance one. wide angle, a fisheye, and a regular one, that's what you start with. So let's go and do our objectives, we have to take picture of the four friends together. We're gonna take a wide angle for this. What's nice is that you can uh, play with uh, your picture once you make them. Uh, saturation, contract, you shift, color balance and exposure. Here we go, nice shot. You can also uh, sometimes ask people to change their uh, pose to different pictures. Okay. The objective we have to take pictures of seven birds. How many do we have in the shot? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we have seven with one on the left. Pictures of two boombox, there is one um, in the back here and one here. There you go, another objective. So, Maui <laughs> is a, a mountain, so there is that's the one in the back here. We're gonna take a picture of this one later. We have to take a picture of the camera. The word mix. You can adjust the, the focus of your camera. That will do even if it's blurry. A picture of the Union Jack. One. Markers, and we have two. And here are the uh, each canisters you have to collect. There's nine in this level. Go. That's um, really pretty. I uh, like how uh, the atmosphere in the game that goes well with the music. So let's check our uh, objective. And we're clear. Now we just have to do the uh, secondary objectives. So we have to recreate the postcard that we see on the top here, collect the different canisters, and 
earn some money by taking some pictures. It's a little bit slow the way you move. I don't think I'm like that much, but yeah. So let's uh, go for a wide angle. Yes, yeah, it's more. Something like this looks like a little bit like the postcard. And now we on to uh, collect some uh, canisters. In the beginning it's pretty easy, you have different ways. To, uh, complete the puzzles that they ask you, like the word mix will be present sometimes, but as you go further, it's getting more and more difficult. I really like the fish eye. It uh, reminds me of all those. Um, you know, um, like this time in the 90s when like you had all the skateboard, Crystal Mania, and in a lot of games you had this, uh, or in a lot of videos you had this fisheye effect. That was pretty cool. On the last one and we are 30 seconds away from completing all the objectives now we just have to deliver the parcel here you go and here you go that was a uh, umurangi generation for you i uh, unlocked the flash box to eliminate dark places congratulations yay there is uh, many more other levels too. That's a nice indie game. It's quite short, uh, to be honest. But there is uh, replayability. You can play it more a um, few more times, I think. Once you finish the game, and then wants to do all the objectives within the, the time frame that in the bonus objective. I really like it. I recommend you to try it. There is a demo available, which I just did. That was the first level. So that's all for today, I will see you in another video, we're gonna start uh, a playthrough of Jet Set Radio Future, which I really, really, really wanna do for quite some time. I've been talking about years to do it on my channel, but now it's possible to emulate it properly, uh, which will give me a much better quality than when it, if I were playing it on my Xbox, uh, my original Xbox. <laughs> so stay tuned because we're gonna go on an adventure. See you next time.